Hello and welcome to Frog Detective 2. This is the stream, the second stream of the Frog Detective collection. And this is the case of the invisible wizard. Invisi wizard. So, um, right. Something that just blew my mind while I was thinking of a stream title. <laughs> Do you know what the perfect animal is to be a detective? It's not a frog. You know what it is? It's a fucking alligator, right? Because do you know what alligator extends to be? An allegation investigator. Isn't that wild? Like, just shouting down those words. And it's an alligator! And now I'm going to make that game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was like, whoa, words are cool. <laughs> and now I need to make it. Allegation, investigation, alligator. Um. Whoa, I've had an absolute revelation. You can have your mind blue and have your mind red, but you can't have your mind yellow. Whoa. I had no idea what I was saying because... <laughs> because those words are spelt differently. Whoa. That's, that's a good wordplay. <laughs> like, that probably sounds like nothing if you're not seeing the chat. But, um, that's really cool. <laughs> I didn't know where that was going. Uh, so, we are playing Frog Detective 2. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Frog Detective 2, Electric Scrappy-Doo is what I'm calling it. Because I know who, who done this. I know who the Invisible Wizard is. So let's begin. Allocation Investigator 2. <laughs> I can't, I'm making it, I'm telling you, I'm making it. Okay. Right, our office, we're back in our office. Um, It's the same setup as before. Same tutorial. Except it has our new image of all of our dancers. Well, all of our friends dancing. Um, I should have... Uh, practiced some of that dancing just because it would have been fun. I want to play this one. I want to meet the lanky crab. Okay. Uh, right, let me just get into reading here. <laughs> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. Oh no, this phone call isn't for me, is it? The one at Warlock Woods, right? Oh, okay. I, th I thought it accidentally called me about a case that wasn't even mine. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. Is it? <laughs> The frogs have ears on the side of their eyes. I'm very intrigued. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry, anyway, I'm like, I'm getting deja vu here. I was like, are we, did I press on the first game by accident? We can wear hats. We established two tiny hats. Um, do you remember the end of the last game? I don't think I do. <laughs> Did we just hang up on him? I can't remember it. <laughs> um, anyway. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of girl. Doesn't like to be the centre of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. Is this me? The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organise a welcoming parade. A parade? Not just like a hello or like a hi, like a parade? Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. Oh god. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. 
That's where you come in, detective. That's me! <laughs> That's me, frog detective. I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted car to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Is an enchanted car a train? Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Great. Hop to it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is... special. She's... invisible. Wait. So she goes into a house. She doesn't ever meet anybody. And she's invisible. So basically no one moved in? Ah, that was loud. <laughs> and a wizard. Hmm. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. They want it to be uninvisible. de invisibled Uh... Visible. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Just visible is fine. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Uh, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. <laughs> Your magnifying glass. That's what I said last time. Keys, phone, purse, magnifying glass. Never leave the house without it. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. All right. So basically, there's no new neighbor is what I'm getting from that. <laughs> no new neighbor. Um, well, I think we're good to go. Ah, uh, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. We didn't even use it last time, did we? <laughs> well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. We don't have a pocket to put it in on our chest. Right click. I don't think we used it last time. It's not very good at actually magnifying. It's good at fish eyeing. But <laughs> not so much the magnifying. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Loves the car. Oh my god. That was a, that was a journey that I've just I've never been on such a journey as what just happened right now. Whoa! <laughs> it's moments like these that once again I wish that I had calm on because. Whoa. <laughs> um. Okay, this is Lobster Cop. We've heard of Lobster Cop. Isn't Lobster Cop the top detective? Above us, we're the second best. Lobster Cop's the best. Oh my god, his face. I bet he's depressed. I'm I'm not fooled by this. This is the expression. Uh, ah, it's a famous frog. Oh no, he's gonna bully us, isn't he? We're being bullied by a lobster. Look at his pictures in his room. There's all of his trophies. I guess this is his office. He's in the woods. Oh, there's a ghost. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't mean to skip it. I was looking at your pictures. There's one in a hot tub. Oh, no. F famous? I'm not famous. Uh, perhaps not. And then I don't know what that is. Some kind of flower? Um. Haha, <laughs> perhaps not. But I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? 
<laughs> you loving this? Good, good. <laughs> I enjoy the, the dramatic turn that just happened. Everyone knows I love a bit of drama in my games. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, I played the um, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened demo, which is at the Steam Next Fest right now. It's so good. We are playing that on stream. I think it, like, I mean, it was only a demo, but it could end up being better than the other two that we played. Like, holy shit, it was great. I wish that I could share the moment that I had in that demo as well, because it was really fucking good. So yeah, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Play the demo uh, if you would like, because it's great. Um, okay. What brings you to my office, detective? I'm not at your office, I'm just trying to get out of the door. Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. So we have a green office and the lobster has a red office. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Oh no. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. <laughs> and then I say, I'm a crime solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. <laughs> Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy. Head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forgot to be polite. Forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. <laughs> Is that why people are rude? There's not enough time to be polite in life? I see. Maybe that's why I never have enough time. I've got to be more rude. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. <laughs> but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you are looking at things and paying attention to words. Oh no, not words. Sorry, I've been meaning to take a drink ever since this guy started talking. I was like getting ready to take a drink once the door burst open with his horrible face and I was like distracted ever since. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I'm still having flashbacks to that door burst and open. I just I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Um paying attention to words. Yeah. <laughs> this is my downfall. We've already found a problem. Yes, quite right. Tip number two. Everyone is a suspect. Everyone. I think we've got this one. Even you. <laughs> I will suspect myself much more from now on. <laughs> it wasn't me. I swear. Although I still think I could be the invisible wizard. That's true. Holy shit, it's us. Us. <gasps> you can't say sus without us. <gasps> Whoa. The revelations is happening today. See, I pay attention to words. <laughs> Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without <laughs> exception, factually incorrect, inaccurate. Oh yeah, I remember last time. <laughs> When the developer was like, this isn't our beliefs. I forgot books, bud. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. <laughs> we found a loophole, boys. I don't have a notebook, though. Well... It's your lucky day! That, that's loud. I can hear that. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. Yeah, I seen this in the um, uh, trailer. 
new uh, mechanics. <laughs> I bought them with all my crime solving money. Your wages? I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you are ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, lobster cop. So we're actually going to get to go in his office as well. Okay, so this is the layout. It's just... So this is a police station. A corridor. With my office there. <laughs> and this here. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, where's the office of the guy who phones us? We must be the only three staff based on the pictures. I wonder if as new games are made, they add new rooms with new offices. <laughs> Um, I love that he stands next to the huge foil doing the exact same pose. <laughs> yeah, wearing the exact same clothes. It's a, it's only a tiny bit creepy. Only a tiny bit. Okay, here's our notebook. But before we do that, I wanted to get a better look at these. Oh, so he's like... Oh, wait, hold on. Whoa. So at first I thought this was a litter cleaning campaign. But now it could be some sort of cult ritual. <laughs> or some sort of like chalk outline of a dead bin. I don't know. <laughs> and then we have... Oh wow. Aliens? I think we saw aliens. No. No. Did we ever see aliens? Were any of... They were always animals, weren't they? There's a robot with four legs. Why are you in the water with your uniform on? Um... I have just heard Shadow saying Harold a lot. I hope he is coping. Uh-oh. I hope Harold's being good. <laughs> um... I've seen an alien. You are playing a game called Alien. <laughs> That's true. We definitely came face to face with an alien. Um. Oh, did he rescue a cat from a tree? Or a... Oh, there's ghosts. It's a haunted forest. I love how, like, just messy these pictures are. Like, there's a person there. <laughs> I think. There's a cat in a haunted tree. What is that? And then there's some ghosts over there. Here is a snail. Oh, I guess this is just a, a nice day out in nature. Then... <gasps> Who are these frogs? These frogs are wearing hats. <gasps> Blasphemy! And they've all gone out for sushi. Who are these frogs? I bet it's my brothers. Uh, that is probably a cat more likely than a horse. Did you th <laughs> think it was a horse? <laughs> oh, it does look like... Oh my god, now that I've looked like... It's the shape of its body. It's got very long legs. A tree horse, naturally. <laughs> it's the legs. Yeah, I see it as soon as you said it. I was kind of thinking maybe like a... A lamb? And then we have a haunted corridor selfie with a ghost. I mean, you've got to admit, if you were in a haunted corridor and you saw a ghost, well, at least me, I would get the urge to take a, a selfie. <laughs> I would. I, I'm not ashamed to admit it. And we've got all of these solved cases, I guess. Or, like, probably unrelated to policing. It's probably just, like, one of, you know, eating contest or something. Well, we do know he's the best. Uh, we haven't started yet. Yeah. Just taking my time. I haven't got all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay. Alright, let's let's get our book. Uh, he, meets, he does meet a lot of ghosts. He's met at least two ghosts. Three hour notebook decorating stream it is. Okay. Let's see. There's me! It's me! Oh wait, we can rotate? Oh boy. 
Oh, we can scale? No, we can't scale. I thought we could scale. Um, okay. Uh, let's just see what we have before we make any decisions. Uh, at least that weird bug isn't here. You know, the bug <laughs> from the previous one. Uh, I think just like an magnifying glass with us <laughs> would be good <laughs> spying on something okay right no I've, I've i've made up my mind so we've got the flower with um a bird on it i guess that flower's sturdy enough for this bird and then you've got us looking at it through here Whilst riding a crocodile. There. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> Mira made a whole scene with a huge backstory. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. I think it involved the crocodile wearing high heeled boots. Oh, yeah. That adds up. Yeah, I see. That does add up. Oh, you have like multiple of the same. So I can do my jewel wielding um, magnifying glass frog that I do on my tweets. There we go. It's almost like eyes. <gasps> I've thought of a new concept for an animal detective. A snail, but it's eyes and magnifying glasses. <sighs> oh my goodness. That is just... That is just ev evolutionary delight um i think this is good oh wait and we can have the sun this works <laughs> i'm done oh it's like we've got it's like our arms have been replaced with magnifying glasses yes this this is a good book right is there going to be more um, mechanics in this one? Because we didn't have a notebook before, did we? Suspect space. Wait, suspect ourselves? My things. Magnify it, notebook. Invisible. No, we didn't. We just had a little inventory up here before. I think. Yeah, because there was floating wool. <laughs> Some kind of magnifying glass armed android. Yes! See, it seems like a good idea to replace your limbs with useful um, mechanical gadgets <laughs> in video games. Oh god, we've got like profiles on our co-workers. Oh, it's me! Hold on then. Because we're being suspicious of everyone because we're a good person. Okay, um, maybe Lobster Cop made up a crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also, very unlikely. Okay, needs to figure out where to put cleaning supplies. Not my office. Uh, no, it's number one best detective. Has a lot of fans. Oh, imagine if we came into his office and he just had loads of, like, desk fans and wall fans and portable fans and stuff. <laughs> it's super cool. So many trophies. Hope I get a trophy one day. Oh, we need to get a trophy. Um, I need that fan joke. Super cool. Oh, that would be even a double joke. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> um, that also means a handy list of characters. Yes, I do enjoy character profiles. That's something that I like in games. Um, motive. I don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare case where I commit crimes in my sleep. Needs a holiday. Haha, <laughs> just joking. Joking? Like croaking? Or can we just not spell? Is that a, is that a word? <laughs> is that on purpose? Okay. I have a jumper. I have pants. I have a magnifying glass. I have a good attitude. I have a picture with my pictures. So cool. Oh, and he has a picture with his picture. If our pictures tell us anything about our personality, 
loves the cop is very self-obsessed sassy best detective hell yeah how's it going thank you so much for the 23 months we are the investigator how are you doing thank you very very much we're just getting started we haven't actually left the station yet but <laughs> we're just getting started on frog detective 2 uh, also i never even asked is the audio okay is it a little quiet because i i'm having to keep changing it with doing bits of recording uh, I don't. I didn't take notice where it was before I changed it, so I, I might be a little quiet. I'm not sure. Doing well. Very good to hear. Um. So yeah, self-portrait. Whereas way with photos of our cases and the friends we made along the way. So we're like a people frog. And then we don't have any one else yet, but I'm sure we're gonna meet them. What if it's going to be the same, the same ghost scientist? Probably not. A magnifying notebook. Uh, oh wait, what happens if I click on someone? So many empty pages. With space, suspect. <gasps> Sus! <laughs> oh no. Oh, we can make everyone suspicious. Okay, well, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> let's just not let's not be so paranoid yet we can be but not yet okay he did say suspect everyone that was the advice that we got there's our boss that must work in a different building because they always phone us time to solve another mystery I guess it's probably the sus the suspicious thing is probably there for our own record, right? We probably don't need to um, use it for progress in the game. Oh, this is the magic carriage, or whatever it was called. Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. Oh yeah, this is like the dramatic. Um, <laughs> look at the extreme close-up. This is the dramatic intro. I love drama in detective games. It's so good. Uh, yeah, just stamp every page and then we'll be safe. Warlock Woods. The Invisi Wizard. I... <laughs> the pause. I don't think there's gonna... Ooh, okay, it's Susan. Ralph. Mandy. Mary. Mary! It was Mary. And several more characters. Oh, yeah. We never saw those last time. They never cropped back up. Frog Detective 2, the case of the Invisible Wizard. Yeah, we met Grace last time. I wonder if Thomas will appear in, in the game this time. <laughs> but most of all, we've got to find the creeper. Got to be out there somewhere. Always watching from behind a tree or a cliff or whatever is around. Okay, so this is the end or the beginning. Let's get our bearings. Oh, we're in like a. Wait. Forgotten the place already. Warlock Woods. I was like, we're in a cul de sac, but we're in the woods. So maybe not. <laughs> bearings exactly so this okay we we've met some of the oh wow that's a great picture this is okay so someone graduated i'm gonna profile all these people this is many selfies and a balloon it's someone's birthday Oh, welcome. Is that for me? Oh, that's for the new person. The litter is disgraceful. There's Doritos everywhere. Don't decorate your floor with Doritos. <gasps> There's a pie here. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. <gasps> I got a pie. Okay, that's great. Oh, it's just... One lost pie. Do we not get to inspect it? 
What kind of pie is it? Is that ketchup on the top? I want to see the pie proper. Okay, fine. Uh, my friend made a pie and she sent me a picture on Snapchat the other day. I've wanted pie ever since. Oh, there's something about pastry, man. Uh, right, I am totally checking out everyone's houses to see. Oh, so you live with the, the lion and the zebra? So this is Madagascar. Basically. Um, like the movie, not the country. <laughs> this is just a picture of a dog. Maybe we'll meet the Photoshop cut out animals. Oh, I found another pie. Okay. So we're just gonna find like five lost pies. Hopefully we'll find more than we want. No, more than we need. So that we can... Whoa, what the fuck are you? Oh, it's like a hot tub. Okay. You're sus. Victor, hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? <laughs> a little bit. But I'm on a case. Ketchup pie. Yeah, definitely ketchup. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? Oh, is this a kid? They wear an armband. The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Do we have a name? Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. You have no idea how much that has just ranked up your suspiciousness in my suspicion diary. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well... I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah. Nobody knows anything for certain these days. Okay. Okay, I guess you're in the same boat as me then, because I don't think I did it. But I've learned from the best that I should be suspicious. Imagine being born front, f front, born front. Imagine being born frog detective and then becoming frog chef. Yeah, <laughs> chef detective. There's a ring to it. Although that's just a name and not a job title. <laughs> yeah, I realized once I said it out loud, it sounded like a job title. Nope, it's just the name. I think people would come from far and wide to buy food from Chef Detective. So, why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Noddy. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Are you visiting your friend or are you just here to use the hot tub? <laughs> Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Oh, I also had a second... um. My first theory was there is no new neighbor. My second theory is that there is a new neighbor and they, they are the ones that destroyed the decorations because they don't want a parade because they just want to be left alone. <laughs> There's my two theories so far. Um, pies and hot tubs. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how good that sounds to me. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Can I ask some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. The wizard. Have you seen a wizard that's invisible? Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Uh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Fleco, how we snooping? What we snooping? We snooping this suspicious victor who's swimming in the friend's hot tub trying to get free pies. <laughs> we are actually snooping for an invisible wizard. Uh, how's it going? Hope you're good. Um, beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. 
I'm super cool. Have you been here before? I wonder if we wrote that in our notebook. Super cool for Victor as well. So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. <laughs> you want a parade every time that you come here? Okay. I take the parade thing back. And Victor realized what they said. <laughs> Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. Brutally honest. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. <laughs> also, that saves time on being polite. Good job. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. We'll probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job. And I'm a frog. And I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I solved my fair share of crimes. Crimes? Which crime? This one? What one? You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. Ralph? How do you know? Uh. Good point! <laughs> okay. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um... I think it's because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. <laughs> Get the witch. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? You don't like me being honest? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Oh! <laughs> Neither are you, apparently. Oh god. <laughs> just, just like leave me, leave me to swim in my hot tub. I'll insult you until you leave me alone. Not until I solve this mystery. Oh, I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Oh, it's all forgiven. Hungry is a real thing. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. Is this the koala of this level? Um... You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Is this why we're gathering pies? Like who? There's nobody here. I'm not gonna offer, am I? <laughs> I am here. Right, there I go, being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. He gave me money! Hey, we got some money. Questions. Okay, we can give him a lost pie. I don't know if I should be saving my pies. Pie could be a currency around here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> um, okay, let's ask about last night. Where were you at 10 p.m. last night? Oh, well, I don't think we have a time. One whole money. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Noddy's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. <laughs> yep. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> wrinkly hooves. So I waited for about an half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Noddy's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. <laughs> no, I mean, what time did you get back into Noddy's house? Before the parade was destroyed, it wasn't me. Probably it wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure, but 90% probability that it wasn't me. Okay. Would you like a pie? 
Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Uh oh, do you, do you not like floor pie? But it's floor pie. It's so much better than regular pie. Detective, where did you find this pie? <laughs> I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective, you may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie. Do you not like pie? You came here for the pie. Give him the floor pie. I'll take the floor pie. That does- oh, I took a pie that does not belong to me. Context is everything. That's right, detective. <gasps> am I the crime he's investigating? Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away. So I cannot accept it. Finders keepers, though. Oh, no. That's not the detective way. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry, and I am sorry. That's okay, detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Hey, I got an achievement. Gross, what were you thinking? <laughs> I can't believe that wasn't the answer. Victor! Okay, yay, I'm so glad that we get profile pages on everyone. Motive, hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade. Oh, that is a legitimate motive, he was jealous about the parade. Needs something to eat. Uh, such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. But maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Okay, I think we'll only fill this in as we meet the people, so... Alright, well... I'm watching you. You think you're watching me? <gasps> Do you know what we need? We need a pair of glasses for Frog Detective. How cute would that be? Oh, he'd proper suit some glasses. I need to see his face though, we can't see it. Um. Next time... <gasps> I've just seen the goddamn peeper! Did you see him? I've just seen him! Ooh! Let me in! He's behind there! I swear I'm being followed! I can't get behind! This isn't fair. At least I know I'm not going crazy. It's on video. <laughs> oh, how can I get that to trigger again? Oh, I like it. It's like making you... It's not... So he triggered twice before in the other game. It's not... He's not coming back out this time. Well, I knew it. He had to be in... He's, be... He's watching us. It's a good way to make people paranoid. What is that? Oh, I found the invisible wizard. She's legit. She's got eyes. Her eyes are not invisible. All her clothes. I didn't think she existed. Okay. And then there's the boxes because she's just moved in. She's got a cricket. Friend. Thing. Okay. Okay, we're getting to know everyone. So I think... Is this Ralph? With the eye patch? Who definitely did it just because he wears an eye patch? Uh, let me keep snooping. Um... I don't know why I have to get in people's faces and magnify them. I just... I don't know why I have to do it. Hello, wizard. <laughs> Very welcoming. Ooh, I found a pie. I found a plant pot pie. Uh, we could have... Maybe he would have accepted the plant pot pie. It's better than a floor pie. Okay. Um. I 
remember you from the intro scene. Okay, I like how everyone has a portrait of themselves in the in their houses so that we know where they live. Oh, the food's all over the floor because everything got ransacked. I forgot about that. Oh, look! A non-floor pie! Okay, I think we can trade three lost pies for one clean pie. No one needs to know they're on the floor. <laughs> oh wait, there's another one here. Okay, we have four lost pies. A table pie, exactly. Okay. Oh, these are the animals from the beginning. Maybe if we can earn some more money, we can buy some things. Oh, it's memorabilia. There's a starfish. And a shell, a giant shell. Oh, toothpaste! I can't remember the full name and I can't read it upside down, but it's long. We've got plants. Oh no, it's here! <laughs> it's here! And it costs eight money. A pie, a pie pie? Hold on. Is that, is that simple? The simple for pie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I just make that up? Um. Oh, and then we have some clothes. Fashion. Oh, we could wear these. Okay. I wonder if we'll get to buy something. Uh, that is pie. A 3.14 pie. <laughs> Who knocked the lamppost over? Okay. Right, I don't know where to start. Let's go uh, anti-clockwise then. Ralph! Hello, little frog! I'm Ralph! Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. Yeah, look, we could wear some glasses. It would be really cute. It'd be like a... I don't know. I mean, we don't have a nose to sit them on, but we could find a way. We could have two monocles. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. I'm nearly the same height as you. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. <laughs> yeah, that's... I didn't even realize that's two different things. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Oh, is this because of his eye patch? No depth perception? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? About... The eye. I want to know about the eye first. What happened? It definitely wasn't some... There's the peeper! Look! Look! He's right there! See, I have... I've got my eyes open today. Observational skills. <laughs> oh my god. I can't zoom in on it either. Because if I um, press anything, it just moves the dialogue going. God damn, people. Okay. Remember that mole? Mole? What mole? Everyone imagine I summoned all the peep quotes. Yes. He was. He was. He was hidden behind a cliff. Oh, the peeper is a mole? Oh. Oh, I just thought it was a person with a really big nose because they were nosy. <laughs> the mole. Yeah. May I ask you why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. 
Yeah, th this is the deduction that I made. It was a nosy Parker. <laughs> Why are you speaking about yourself in the third person? You're not Kuno. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night about pirates. And I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. This is a world where media is different. Books? Bad. Movies? Don't have sequels. Video games all have sequels. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Okay, and about the wizard. So that was an accidental alibi. I, alib I. <laughs> How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Okay, <laughs> hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while, and our space is big. But... I would really like my own home. Oh. I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got it there first. I see. Oh, <gasps> There's a motive. Can't believe we're still being watched. Um, right? The sabotage to try and scare off the wizard so that Ralph can steal the house. Maybe Victor was right all along? Didn't consider a motive, but I found one. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies though. I have <laughs> renovation supplies. <laughs> Can I interest you? <laughs> oh my god, I really took the word thing to heart today. Like, <laughs> I am observing all the words. Hmm, I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see it. Well, at least we're giving people ambition. Um, oh, let's see. Ralph. Motive. <laughs> In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus. No! Wants the house! That's not the motive I came up with. Needs building supplies. So notes. Loves pirates. Eye patches co cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. Okay. Cool. Uh, we don't have that punny emote on Twitch, only on the server. Oh, do, is it not? I wonder if it's maybe a bit emote or something. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, it might be on a different tier. I'll have to have a look. Because uh, I have no idea at this point where my different emotes are. Can we go in people's houses? No. Well, we can, we can knock on the witch's house. Uh, yeah, let's just continue going around the outskirts. Hello? Is anyone home? It sounded like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Oh. 
Okay then. But they're right there. I can see them. Is there any more windows that we can break in through? <laughs> I guess not. Good thing too, otherwise it'd be peeped on some more. Do you have home renovation supplies here? I don't see any. Oh, this is Carlos, the um, zebra that's living with Ralph. A customer. Welcome to Carlos, all things you could need, y'all. Are you Carlos? <laughs> yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me, <laughs> Gabriel Knight. <laughs> How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? <laughs> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name though, more of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Will we ever find out our name? Gonna take a shower and make some food. Alrighty, Sassy, I'll see you later. Thank you once again for the 23 months. Have a great evening. Um... Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Oh... Maybe Lobster Cop hails from Warlock Woods. Being... Conchited? I have got a feeling that is not how you say this word. <laughs> is a societal construct. What does this word say? Conceited. Conceited? What does that mean? I don't know this word. Oh, vain? Conceited? Ah, maybe Lobster Cop is from this place. I don't know that word, that's funny. We have rejected it. Oh, hence why my shop is so popular. Wait, what? This place doesn't like being vain. Wait. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> I sell portraits among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. <laughs> You know Lobster Cop? Azza, hello, how's it going? Excessively proud of oneself, vain. Fred so con- Oh, Fred so conceited. He'd never believe anyone would refuse him. That's what the dictionary says. See, I feel like, okay, when I've read it there, I, I think I have seen it before. I don't think I've ever said it out loud, or maybe heard it out loud, but... I think I have seen it before. Thank you for that. Welcome as well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know you solved the mystery of the haunted island recently? Excuse me? Oh, uh, I don't think... Did you read that in a book? I'm gonna assume that you read that in a book, because that is factually incorrect. It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh no, that was <laughs> that was that other guy. That was that science guy. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Who's small, Larry? Ah, uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well. Agree to disagree? <gasps> but I was there! I d oh, okay. This has happened before. It's happening again. What else? When was that? What did I just play? Oh, <laughs> Monkey Island. This happens to me all the time. I never get credit for the cool shit that I do. Ku is so conceited. Why do I keep saying she conceited? <laughs> conceited. She doesn't understand that Harold is uninterested in her flirting. 
Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. And now I want a rat sitcom. I feel like you could make that. You gotta make a sitcom. <laughs> We're trying Harold as a hospital cage buddy and she won't stop pinching him on the butt. Ooh la la. Cool. <laughs> um, I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. <laughs> it was me. That's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? The night in question. We know that you weren't there watching pirate movies. I don't think. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. Wait, well then what's Ralph complaining about? Ralph has that ginormous house and you're never home? What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4am? <laughs> you're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Do you have like a bell or something? I always need my portrait at 4am. I can't think of a more sensible time, to be fair. Uh, he thinks she's literally attacking him, so he'll be the one needing a break at this rate. Oh dear. <laughs> cool. Who needs to calm? Be calm, cool. <laughs> Um, Where do you sleep? Oh, I sleep standing up. This is Zebra. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. <laughs> Chill time, please. <laughs> exactly. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock oh, <laughs> I'm the most committed and the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Mm, sometimes. But I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Extreme shopkeeper lifestyle. Me too. Although, I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway... Did you see anything last night? Oh yeah, you're in a good place to see things. Uh, horses do lock their legs to sleep upright or something, right? Yes, exactly. They can't lie down for too long because I think it upsets their digestive system and stuff. So they spend most of the time standing up. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime. Huh? Hmm. I mean, you were stood here, right? Let's just take this into account, right? <laughs> We are looking over the shoulder of the zebra, seeing the view that they have while they are staying here 24-7. The, the, <laughs> the disaster is clear. You slept through the entire thing? God damn it. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would you like to know? Okay, so you didn't see anything? Did you wake up and even notice that everything was a mess? And the wizard. Maybe I should put the suspicious <laughs> on this guy. <laughs> what do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? I really like the outfit on the zebra. It looks great. Like the... It's like a onesie. Like a... A short onesie. Uh, uh who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? I don't know why I'm like insulting Carlos. This is me. I don't realize these things. <laughs> literally. Carlos is me. Chaos goes on outside. I don't notice. My neighbor had a baby. I didn't notice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi! Well, 
A parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? <laughs> what parade? The parade that everyone has been preparing for. Wow, how nice! Can't wait! It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a, rig <laughs> a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. This is so funny. Here 24 7 somehow knows nothing. It, that's so funny because that is so suspicious, but at the same time, I, I believe it. Because I imagine that he's just living in their own little bubble, not noticing anything that's going on outside of this shop. <laughs> uh, just living in a daydream. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Do zebras have bad memories? <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh. Oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy work. Oh, are we gonna get to wear a party hat? We could wear two party hats on each eye and look like we have horns. We're gonna look so good. <laughs> I'm assuming it's pointy ones. That's such a great quote. <laughs> Thank you, Crafty. Yeah, I want to remember that one. <laughs> um. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing! I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. I mean, if you've got Prime, it might be okay. You're right. Oh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you. Uh, before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Wait, so you're just selling people... <laughs> portraits of their species, but not of them? Not a problem. Okay. That's all, thanks. So I'm thinking then... That this... This game is gonna end with the parade you know how the last one ended with the dance competition hopefully we get to see the parade at the end uh so carlos motive could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally carlos doesn't even shop locally needs party hat oh no i'm being cursed uh no it's busy boy works really hard didn't know anything had happened seems stressed about the parade doesn't have hat yeah, you could make a hat. Anything can be a hat if you really want it to be a hat. Um. Right. Oh, look! I've just realised. Look at this outfit. We can buy it for six money. Is it... So we need to... Did I see? Oh, yeah, look. The green dress with the pearls. Wait, that's very... Isn't that very... Oh, maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> uh, Wilma from the Flintstones. Or do they wear animal prints? <laughs> oh, and then this outfit here is Ralph's outfit. Are you stealing everyone's spare clothes? Oh, no, no, no. You probably so... Yeah, yeah, they bought locally. It's the other way around. He supplied. And they bought, not stole from them and sold. Oh my goodness. Creepy. Okay. <laughs> um. Next we have Rhino. Who likes plants and has a nice, neat house. And a very smiley outfit. Oh, it's Mary. Ooh, is this singing? I nearly just done an impression of singing and then I stopped myself. La. Ooh, la la. Hello. 
Hello, frog. Oh no, I hear they sound like Wiggle <laughs> from uh, Bug Snacks. I can't be, I can't have that. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? It was singing. I should have done it. Hmm. Yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, I'm sure that everyone is really happy about that. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Hmm. Maybe you should go and get some sleep. Maybe. That's... That's... That's what singing sounds like. You sing very loudly. Yep. I'm why everyone soundproof their houses. <laughs> that sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. Okay, we found the most nightmarish nearby yet. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. Excuse me? What is happening right now? Just joking. Anyway, who are you? Is this ASM? Uh, ASM? Maybe I. I could have done. I could have done that better. <laughs> Can we go back? <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Wait, that's not usually. <laughs> that's not usually how people respond. Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh boy, I love questions. All right. The wizard. Have you welcomed the wizard? Do you know about the wizard that move in? Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. <laughs> she just laughed and said yeah because she didn't hear what we said. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, I, I find that really funny that they put that in there. <laughs> I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. But you've just asked me to question you. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. Mandy. The pie Mandy? And I heard that Noddy like, attacked the wizard one time. Attacked? I don't know who Noddy is. Noddy's who the deer is staying with. The stag. And... That's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh boy, I love questions. <laughs> well, we love snitches and rats here, so it's all good. Um... <laughs> Rats? About last night. I keep remembering I don't need to read this bit. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy. Yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh! We're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much. Just singing outside. You are outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? 
Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective. I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. <laughs> I am above the law. Bitch, I am the law. Oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. Am I being bribed? <laughs> Extortion. <laughs> oh no. I'm trying to think what extortion means. It means... The context I know of extortion is... Isn't it like when... A price is extortionate, it's not worth what you're paying for it. <laughs> Have we croaked yet? Not quite, not yet. Uh, soon, probably. <laughs> I would like five money for a train ticket. What do you need a train ticket for? Wait, did you do it? Are you trying to run away? In this case, it's like blackmail, but not necessarily against you. Yes. Okay. It's a... It's a trade of... Information. It's not stitching. Or blackmail. Or bribes. <laughs> I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Froggy Wood. Okay. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? And I think the townspeople would be really happy <laughs> to not have to hear us sing anymore. Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. What will you give me in exchange? Information? What kind of information? A phone number? Not a real phone number, is it? Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence, the extortion. But this is called withholding evidence. <laughs> Sorry, I think I can arrest you for this. It's okay, we all get extorted every now and then. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, come back when you have my money. I wish in real life you could just say- Well, I don't wish, but I wish I could just say I'm above the law and make it true. <laughs> this isn't extortion, this is obstruction of justice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. <sighs> oh boy, I love questions. Right, nothing right now. So I guess this is our end goal is gathering money from people <gasps> we're extorting the people to be extorted this is like some sort of crime syndicate thing i'm gonna go around taking one money off everyone um it's just this money <laughs> motive perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her needs five money sings really loudly all the time Everyone soundproofed their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. <laughs> I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> so. What if. What if it's her own phone number and she's hitting on me? Did we ever think of that? And she knows that if we give her the money. Would be a good partner for her because we'll take care of her. <laughs> okay, this is my new head cannon. Uh, <laughs> that is such a strategy. <laughs> I like to believe that's what's gonna happen. Oh, I like your outfit. I like this T-shirt dress with the stripes and the red. Oh, this is fashion. I would wear this, but with like trainers or something to like casual it up um okay 
Oh yeah, so this is... This is this person. Pay me money for a number you need to call mine. <laughs> yeah, that is one unhealthy relationship. Oh, I didn't say it was good. <laughs> yeah, it would be terrible. But it's funny. <laughs> oh, hold on then. This dog must be... um Noddy. This is Noddy. Right? No, because this is Noddy's hot tub. Are we gonna meet the... Oh, wait. Are you Noddy? Is this the same person? Is this here? This? I didn't recognize the... <laughs> hmm, maybe. Fashionable. Doggish. I think that this could be them. Okay, but we're, we're going to to cut first. Richie, hello, how are you doing? Um. Hey, I know a person who's into you. Pay me a drink and I'll hand you their phone number. <laughs> Totes, not mine. 10 over 10 pickup line. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, imagine if someone did that. How would you feel? I'd be like... I'd be like, let's just burn this phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Hi. Happy cut. <laughs> Blimey, what a welcome. But how do you know my number? <laughs> How's it going, Richie? We 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 um learning some professional pickup strats. <laughs> New phone who it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my stars! It's you! It's me! <laughs> Gabriel Knight! The famous lobster cop! Oh no, the voices are coming out, okay. This voice is just this person's voice, I'm sorry. I really thought you'd be a lobster! <laughs> she thinks we're the lobster cop. That's not a lobster. <laughs> Oh dear. Um So Things is shiny, thank you. And my mate said fancy going to the pub later. Like he forgot who I am. Oh nice. Well I hope you enjoy going to the pub, because I know already what the answer to that was. <laughs> Sounds good. Frogster Copective <laughs> Wait what? Oh, lobster cop, frogster, the cop tech. Oh, I got. <laughs> oh, I butchered it, but I understand. It's a me, Frogario Todigio. <laughs> Did I nail that one though? The answer was, I've been in the pub since Tuesday. Where are you? <laughs> Perfect. God damn it. I actually didn't know the answer then. <laughs> I don't know you as well as I thought I did. I just thought it was yes. God damn me. I will learn. <laughs> right. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, no. I'm a frog. The genuine answer was yes. There we go. You do know me. Hell yeah. Yeah. Why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well? I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency. Which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. <laughs> uh, that's not how suspicion works, Susan. <gasps> sus! Susan is sus. Oh my god, this earns her a suspicion straight away. Okay. <laughs> it's written right there! Uh, so... 
Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> you should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. <laughs> if the frog is a murderer, did his victim croak? Yes. Also, if the frog is a detective, I guess the victim still croaked. Although, unfortunately, in this game, no one's croaked yet. We're not... De we're not quite a murder detective. Huh. We need to go and get a promotion for that. Okay, um... <laughs> when you write Richie on your phone, it auto-corrects to add all the E's. That's really funny. <laughs> um, okay. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you're fine with them moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice that someone wants to live there. For some reason today I'm channeling all of my Disco Elysium and the voice I'm doing right now... <laughs> All I can see is the bookstore lady. <laughs> For some reason, Susan is the bookstore lady. Um. <laughs> but in that way, nailed that spelling. Uh, <laughs> no worries, Richie. Uh, okay. So. That old, uh, uh, how, oh yeah, I've read that. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbour. Sure is. I put up a sign made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. Tricky situation for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, some people are protective of their communities and think new people are gonna change things for the worse. So, like, this sign has also been knocked down? I'm just starting to... Right. Oh, oh, okay. Theory time. What if the reason that the zebra didn't see anything happening is because it was the invisible wizard that did it. How can there be witnesses when the suspect is invisible? Hmm? The perfect crime. Uh... Not sure who to trust. You're, uh, you're the not trustworthy one, Susan. Exactly. She was very, very eager to let us know that she's the one that called, which makes her not a suspect. Mm -mm, I'm not buying it. <laughs> what? Didn't anyone see the invisible suspect? Exactly. Like, it's just perfect crimes, man. Um, I mean, it doesn't really add up because their eyes are visible. So you, you do see floating eyeballs, but, you know, in the dark, you might not notice. Um, some... Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives. Especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. 
Oh, wait. Was that me? And I read it as if it was her. <laughs> I am treating everyone as a suspect, that's true. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it! Detective! Could you please find me a hook? I can hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. Okay. <laughs> Imagine not being able to see invisible things, right? What kind of loser can't see invisible things? About last night. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colour colours myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. Wool? Wool? How would I pronounce wool in a different accent? I guess wool. <laughs> I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. <laughs> Cat problems. It's a big nuisance. <laughs> she just has this compulsion to unravel it. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? <laughs> what are you, a freaking cat? Oh, wait. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is how I knit? Crafty cat confirmed. <laughs> the mutt is a lie. <laughs> um... As a child, I was told if I play with it too much, it would fall off. <laughs> Not sure how relevant that is to this, though. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, now that I think about it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. A big van? That seems important. Why has nobody else seen this big van? It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Okay. The big van at the entrance? I didn't even think you could drive here. You had to use a magic carriage. Okay, Susan. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. <laughs> I like how dumb the motives are. Needs something to fix her sign. Okay, insists that she is not suspicious. Suspicious. She makes her... No, this makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed, worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. Alright, cheers Susan. So a van was here? Outside the sign? Hmm. Maybe it was... Okay. We can still maintain the suspicion that it could be Scrappy-Doo. Like, it could be there was a van. Oh yeah, I wanted to take another look in here since um, we've now spoken to Ralph and Carlos. So they sleep right near each other, except they don't, because Carlos doesn't even use that bed. Well, they have a second story, but they don't have any stairs. Hmm. They do have the biggest house of the of them all. Okay, right, we have two more people to talk to. Those eyes just scream, I'm told it's not sus, by the way. These eyes? You mean? These eyes? <laughs> uh, right, I think this might be Noddy. Noddy! Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? I love your dress, Noddy. The detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? 
What? Did you... Did you subtly dress up as Lobster Cop? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No? <laughs> but I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa. Oh, Noddy thinks we're telepathically talking. <laughs> is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Okay, so Noddy has no filter. Noddy thinks whispering is telepathy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this could get Noddy into some very awkward situations. <laughs> anyway, who are you? I'm Noddy. Okay. Oh, I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. The mayor? Okay. <laughs> was was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for lobster cop. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, we can we can do like a yeah. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Nobody can hear this, right? <laughs> Wait, does that just get louder because I'm so close? It's supposed to be... I don't know. <laughs> uh... I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh... I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She is a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway... <laughs> okay. Poor frog detective must be like... I have to deal with psychopaths every day and I don't even work on the murder cases. <laughs> You're a wizard, Ari. <laughs> exactly. Right, about the wizard. So, how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck. How do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, I think so. She kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I... <laughs> I tried to vacuum her up. <laughs> uh, okay. With a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Isn't that what you do in Luigi's Mansion? Um... How does one not know if one is the mayor? Yeah. He's about as good as it is ghosts. Who's ghosts? I'm trying to think who ghosts is. <laughs> Naughty's mansion. Oh, be oh yes, be confined, exactly. Yes. I was thinking of um Philbo because yeah, today is vibes, a disco elysium and bug snacks, apparently. Um I was thinking of Philbo. <laughs> The definitely official mayor. Um, I just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. Can you imagine just coming to a new place and someone just runs over to you with a vacuum and starts like trying to hoover you up? And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put me in jail. Don't worry, I have more serious crimes to deal with, like obstruction of justice although that is assault you're not going to jail jail isn't real 
jail isn't real? Well, you should probably apologize. How am I supposed to threaten anyone if jail isn't real? Oh no! Yeah, Phil too, yeah. Oh, god damn, my authority just lost some skill, eh? Okay, sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. You don't need to apologize to me. No jail, just execution. <laughs> this is one brutal world. <laughs> okay, new head cannon again. Yes, I like it. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Did you try yelling through the door? Sorry? Maybe yelling is it? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe not. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way and I have no time to fix it. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna jam to this band. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. I guess that they didn't hire Mary then. Uh, can't stick around for the stream. Alrighty, Richie, enjoy the pub. And have a great evening. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you for stopping by. Um, okay. If I only had a rogue or something to use to cover up the mess. Okay. You know there is a broom in the shop. We could... We could... Clean the mess. That would be one option. Cleaning it. It's not that bad. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Okay, we need to find a rug. <laughs> Clean? But... Rug? <laughs> I guess sweeping it under the rug. I guess. <laughs> but if we're doing that, we should just sweep it up. Tell me what you want to know. So... Oh, we're done. I really like your shirt dress. Like, I really like it a lot. Motive. Tried to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. <laughs> I mean, you would think it was a ghost, right? If they were just carrying something and they're invisible. The thing's just floating. Needs a rug. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor? Question marks? Hired a cool band to play the parade. Attacked the wizard. <laughs> so this is... Someone was talking about this before. That Noddy attacked the wizard. I think it was Ralph. Somebody saw it happen. Um. What if we just start trying to treat the wizard like a human being and talk to them? That might help. Is that too sensible? I just need to check whether Noddy has a rug. <gasps> Noddy has a rug! Not willing to give up that rug. Whoa, look at them heels. So, I just wanted to check these pictures again. Oh, so <laughs> is this a portrait of Carlos? Oh, that's so funny. I've just realized what they've done with that. Photographs of portraits. Like, oh, that sounds so obvious, but like... They've just flipped reality where art in the game is real life and then real life is like fake to them. That's so funny. Is, is this... Is this Noddy? And then we have a sheep and... Oh, this could be... Victor. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, unrealistic art style, exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, is this called stylized in this world? Yeah, that's really funny. 
Okay, so this is whoever has got the food stall. What animal are you? Could this be a tapia? Mundy. The pie, Mundy. You're the detective, right? I'm Mundy. High-level impressionistic art. Yeah, exactly. That's so funny. It took me a long time to realise what they were doing with that. Um. So, in... Oh, that's right. That would mean that... Any images in the game that are on people's walls that are in this art style are photographs. And anything that's actually a photograph, an hour photograph, is like drawn in the game so now i'm just trying to think so like the picture that um lobster cop has is a photograph <laughs> um okay i'm mandy hi mandy be careful where you step detective there's mess everywhere chips they yummy tm <laughs> That's it. Whoa. Why isn't this like a real life slogan for a food company? I mean, it can't be now. <laughs> but that's a really good like uh, thingy tagline. They yummy. It's simple. It's memorable. It's catchy. Oh, Mandy, the Westlife boys still sing about you. I forgot that song existed. That's hilarious. That's a blast from the past. See this here. This is an uh, this is a photograph in game. Right. I'm used to mess. Look at you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change your shoes? Detective. Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Whoa, serious? Also, I used to have a dress like this. Like, serious? I had this dress. <laughs> um, okay. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making them. That is very rude. I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? I have a huge weak spot for 90s pop music. Hey, that's fine with me. That is like... That is nostalgia right there. <laughs> um, Tell me what you want to know. I want to know all about your pies. Tell me what flavor they are. No! Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up. I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. Hashtag fashion. What were we talking about? My outfit. <laughs> so, okay, she can't find the pies because she can't see anything because she's wearing sunglasses at night. So funny. Um, so... Pie detector, yes. <coughs> pies, right. You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. 
Oh, so if if she gives me one, then I own the pie and I can go and give it to Victor. It would still be a flaw pie, but he doesn't have to know that. <laughs> Clean them up and not tell anyone they are flaw pie. Yeah, exactly. No seven second rule here. <laughs> nope. That's like a 12 hour rule, I think. Thankfully, we were well within. Okay. Uh, okay, sounds like fun. Neat, thanks, detective. Right, do I have all the pies? I think I found all the pies, maybe. Let's ask about last night first. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was on whizbay.net. Where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes? Oh, she didn't tell us what enchantment she has on her shoes. Like, I guess it's not sneak. <laughs> uh, maybe they're just super comfy enchantment. I mean, if I was a witch, right? And I could do spells. I w and I could put any spell on my shoes. It would probably be comfy feet spell. Like, it uh, just makes sense. <laughs> um... But you just got these ones. So, so Mandy's here just using Wizbay instead of buying locally from Carlos. Okay. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with the blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Dizzy Wizzy? Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then... I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were caught carrying a large box. I'm just thinking, the van that was here, and then people carrying boxes... It wasn't, like... Are they not just talking about the wizard moving in? Like... She... <laughs> I don't know. Um... Like, this is what happens when people move in, is... There's moving vans and boxes. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm... Did you hear any noise after that? No. <laughs> My house is soundproof. <laughs> yeah. Ever since Mary's taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. Okay. Give item pies. You think the people of this town wouldn't notice that? Surely not. <laughs> they only notice the tiny things that happen but if something major happens oblivious that's what i think mandy detective i have found some of your pies wonderful oh there's one left to find i'll hop to it a wink okay oh no my pies gone I guess this last pie is the one I'm gonna keep. Uh... Mandy? Motive. Upset about not wanting... About not winning the shoes, perhaps. Took it out on the parade. I mean, that's a vibe. Absolute... Like, fashion rage. Help finding her five pies. Okay, no, it's... Last night was on Wizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who it is yet. <laughs> Pop to it for sure. Well, we'll totally find the last pie. <gasps> Totally is an excellent pun. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. 
Maybe we should go and talk to um wizard friend again now. Where's the final pie? Who ate the pies? Where was Peeper? Hello, is anyone home? Come back another time. Okay, nothing's changed there then. But I see you! I know you see me! Hey, look! What big eyes you have! Right. I Oh, I was like, I found some pies! Yeah, no, these are the ones I literally just gave. God damn it. Right, where could we find a pie? Oh, I found the pie. Oh, how sneaky! Did we walk past the pie when we walked in and I didn't even notice? What a disaster. It's a lost pie! Okay. <laughs> that is so sneaky. I can't believe we walked straight past it. Like, this game obviously doesn't have... Well, I mean, no game has auditory cues. No. Olfactory cues. Not auditory. <laughs> because otherwise I would have noticed it immediately. Yeah, look, I noticed the boots before. Guess what? You're not gonna believe it. I found your final pie. Found all your pies. What? All of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. Why would you throw pies around without eating them? You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wowee. Thanks, detective. As promised, he has won money. <laughs> hey, I got some money! <laughs> yeah, boy. I don't think you've ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. No! You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense! Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. A fresh pie? So just, I guess if you dust off a floor pie, it becomes a fresh pie? <laughs> no, when you just polish off the floor. Let's see. Uh... Oh! Amazing baker! Okay, so it ticks off when we've done their job. Oh no! Nope, it was... Oh no, it's the pie that was still on the plate! Oh! <gasps> we got the fresh pie! Well, I mean, it's also been sat out overnight, but... It's fresher than the other ones. Two whole money, indeed. We need five money. Uh, we're almost halfway there. Right. The fresh pie. The freshest of the pies. Would you like a pie? Fresh pie. Are you still hungry? Hungry as fuck, mate. It's making me really rude. For example... I think your jumper is outdated! <gasps> right, we have spoken to at least two other fashion people and none of us were that harsh. This is, I'll have you know, an absolute cashmere frog neck. <laughs> no pie for you now! Victor is not wrong! <gasps> As a, I'm a, sorry, band, band, band. Um, history is <laughs> no pie. <laughs> history is written by him after all. No pie for you. You don't think we look swag? <laughs> In all fairness, I would like to buy these clothes, but I'm never going to earn enough monies for these. Um, Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, <laughs> but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. Retro. I like that. I'm simply very hungry. 
I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground? Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Skull! Yep. Please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yeah? You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true. And I think that colour jumper suits you perfectly. Wow, Victor's mood is really influenced by his stomach. Like, his entire personality changes. <laughs> dude, fuck off the hot tub, dude. I hate him. <laughs> Blecko is really nice now. He was just hungry. <laughs> You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat. I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Exactly, the Snickers ad come to life. That's exactly what this storyline was. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. I still... I still want to wear two hats. Yes, it is. It's a pointy party hat. It's a Toby hat. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting to the train of events. <laughs> that, um... Is not gonna stop now because we know what we're doing. So you need the party hat. <laughs> okay, hunger rudeness, I get. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's kind of relatable. <laughs> Um, we exchange fresh pie for a wet pie hat. Wow, we are good at econ economy. <laughs> yes. Exactly. If we had two. God damn it. I wish I could wear it. Okay. I have a hat for you. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a pie hat. No way! Yes way! That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Oh, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Yeah, boy! I'm rich! Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Oh, a rug! We need one of those! Um... Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Puzzling, huh? I'll find a use for it, thanks! Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. I'm most excited to see what these things look like, so... What, what does a rug look like? Oh, it's purpley, bluey, squiggly colour. Cool. Okay. Right, we know... What to do with the rug. Um... Seems stressed about... Yeah, it doesn't have a hat. Oh no, I don't have a hat either! I could probably borrow one, it's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? I hope so. <laughs> We should wear it for that. Wait for it. Rugged look. Mm. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> right, so the what the rug's going on here to hide this spill. To absorb this spill. So we can then have a disgusting rug, okay? I still like your dress though. So, rug. Great news. What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole! This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hey! Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Oh! <gasps> the band! It's the ones we have on the wall! The crab playing the drums! Oh, we're gonna see them in person. Why? 
Maybe that's why we have the picture on the wall, because we're a fan. One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Bet we've already been to see them live, like, five times. Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I have a photo on my wall. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. <laughs> yeah, now we have motivation to actually do our job. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Hey, the quest train is chewing. Plus, one money. Oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this, Rogue. I insist. Wow, thanks. Okay, so... We're gonna give the building supplies to Ralph. And then Ralph must give us a hook for Thingy Bob. And someone's gonna give us money along the way. And then we get a phone number. Uh, I think the crap was on the drum. Could have been hilarious if they were bugs and called the beetle, beetles. Or a band of dogs called the beagles. Beagles works. Yes. I don't know if... Would the beetles be copyright? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Building stuff. Okay, we have a hammer and some planks and some nails. <laughs> oh, no, wow. We just added this into our notes. Long snoot. <laughs> Wow. There's no need to comment on the size of a person's snoot. Okay. I mean, I guess they are like a, a greyhound long dog. <laughs> if you write beetles, surely nobody can stop you. Yeah, just spell it different. <laughs> but you commented very much on the size of Snoop and Snoot. I did. I did a lot. <laughs> I did. My bad. I guess I set the, the precedent that we can judge everyone's noses. Only snoopers, snoots, are allowed to be judged. Greyhound snoot? Hold on. Snoots? Are not allowed to be judged. <laughs> Greyhound snoots are perfect. Okay. May not even be a greyhound, I don't know. <laughs> Questioning me, huh? Oh no. No, I have building supplies. You're home? Welcome home, Blecko. Hope you had a good day. You'll have to leave in about an hour eating it, friends. Oh, that sounds good. Everyone's having social nights tonight. That's lovely. Don't worry, I don't know. We pro presumably will be done in an hour. I feel like we're getting towards the end. Um, Then it would be snoots in suits. <laughs> snoots in suits is like another great name for... It could be like a name for a corporate dog association. Snoops in, snoots in suits. I like it. Um, okay. Okay. This one's got it all wrong. It's not build it, Ralph. It's wreck it, Ralph. We are giving him a hammer. Build it, wreck it, hammer. Can do either. <laughs> Dogs are good boys. They were never... Hey, you, you saw what I saw in, in a different game that we played. <laughs> Uh, perfectly describes that, actually. <laughs> okay. So. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. Um, I managed to track down some building supplies. 
Oh, great. <laughs> he was a shush. <laughs> um, that was exciting news. Oh no, what exciting news? I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Imagine if Ralph gives us nothing for our troubles. And then it's just game over. We never solve the case. Subverting the quest train. Um, excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please, take her money. I love that this game calls them money because that's what I do whenever I don't know the currency. I just call them a money. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of... Okay. It's important to read the full word and not just like... <laughs> and not just take letters away and rearrange them in your brain because I totally thought that we were a horny pirate. Uh, you've earned yourself the title of honorary pirate. Wow! Really? Me? A pirate? Yes. You have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. I know, that's me, Guybrush Threepwood. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here! Oh, that's how we're getting a hook. I didn't even make the connection between pirates and hooks. Gotcha. Okay. Is it like a, a literal hand hook? Oh, uh, wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. <laughs> not yet. Oh? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good. Enjoy the hook. <laughs> Adoption time! <laughs> I love it when we just say awkward shit that makes no sense. That's me! I'm about to go <laughs> plunder some booty. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Well, plunder and booty truly is the horny pirate motto, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. I got the hook! Oh, we didn't add any more notes to that one. Oh, look! Oh, look! They've added a staircase! They actually done a really good job of this. Now, downstairs is Ralph's place. And upstairs must be Carlos' place. We don't get to look in, but... Maybe we can see from a distance. Carlos' photo. No? I mean, Carlos doesn't live there anyway. But you know. I feel like I just need to check in case there's any new dialogue. Buy a photo, three money? But I need the money for other thing. Oh no, I'm in a dilemma now. Hold on. What if we just buy a photo instead? Hold on, what have we got that's worth full money? We should collect as much money. Oh, we could... Oh no, that's, we can't buy a broom. Okay, the only thing that we're gonna be able to afford is this... I'm gonna buy a photo. Or maybe... Maybe I need the photo to get the last money that doesn't make sense <laughs> i'm buying it i want the photo whoa this picture is three money i have three money would you like to buy it yes i would like to buy this picture with my three money what if we can't solve the case <laughs> it's all yours Got a naughty pick! <laughs> a naughty pick? Hello, detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you. As you may remember, I'm Grace. I made this game with my Studio One Club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed that you spend your money on a picture. You've really complicated things for me. See, there's only five money in this game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money. But you've spent three money. So now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you another three money so you can solve the mystery. 
Free three money? This comes from my own pocket, so please don't spend it on anything that isn't relevant to the story. I let you get back to it, and yes, you can keep the picture. <laughs> hey, I got three money. Oh, Mint, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Yeah. I hope photo counts as extortion money. Whoa. I feel like I'm being watched <laughs> by Grace. <laughs> oh, let's check if we've got... Oh, we've still got an empty page. I guess this is for the witch? Suspicious, suspicious. Okay. So, can we buy a broom? There is a broom worth three money. Oh, <laughs> that's all thanks. I thought maybe we would be able to buy this. Never mind. Um, can I look at my... Also, oh, now I have five. I have all five money. Wait, what? But I thought I only had three. Oh, now I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe I, I had three plus two. Oh, wait. I'm looking for my picture. Where's my picture of Noddy? I'm assuming Noddy's a real dog. I mean, obviously, it, there's pictures, but like, one of the devs, like, Grace's dog or something. Is this because I'm being trolled because I got a dog pick, but I got a Grace pick? Is the picture still in the shop? Good question. The picture's gone! I got trolled! Noddy Brooksner. Is that... wait, why, why is that funny? <laughs> I've been robbed, I've been extorted! Yeah, maybe her picture was on the back. God damn it, the extortion in this game is extortionate. Uh, right, we've got a hook to give. Excuse me, I have a hook for you. So, I'm back! You're back! Yep. I found you a hook. Oh, my stars! Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. <laughs> you love Susan, even with this voice? <laughs> I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need it. Okay. Free house? It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. Oh. Is it time to awkwardly lie in someone's bed again? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna use the phone. Great! I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Right! Susan, we're roomies now. Like, I hope you realize I took that as an invitation to move in. Oh, maybe she isn't suspicious. <laughs> there, the sign's fixed! Welcome! I mean, we're slowly making it a bit better. There's the phone. Can we lie in a bed? <gasps> Blocked. We're not allowed to lie in Susan's bed. See, this is a photograph. I don't know who this is. Okay. Well. You... Wait, what if I try and use the phone now without a phone number? Hmm, who should I call? Oh! I don't have any friends to call. Oh, I shouldn't... I 
wish I didn't. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm a frog detective. I mean, he doesn't even have a name. God damn. I mean, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, can't we call our penguin boss? Maybe we can only receive calls from penguin boss. So did we get some more money there? Do we now have six? Oh. Oh no, I got entrance to the house instead. Because if, if she'd given me money, we could have bought matching outfits with Mary. Or a plant. Or another picture. Or artwork, should I say. Or a toothpaste. Yeah, but that's not a real name. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, I love questions. Here's your money. <laughs> it is, but it's not. Hi Mary, hey detective, how's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. <laughs> Um, that's excellent news. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, it would be... The name's Detective. Frog Detective. <laughs> uh, that's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll add that onto my CV. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. Okay. Maybe it's not an elaborate date Thing. <laughs> Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Okay. Phone number. Hold on. That means... Whatever, like, could the parcel have been, like... Like a bull or something? Like a bull in a china shop? <laughs> like... Something crazy that just went around and destroyed everything by accident? Barney, this dude better be legendary! Let's go and call him. I think we're done here. Bull in a parcel sounds about right for this world. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were about to get extorted again. Oh no, that could have happened. Right. We still don't have friends, but at least we have Barney. Maybe a very energetic corgi. Yes. Mysterious. Barney. This isn't the same... Sheep. That we met before, is it? We've got an alien bobblehead. Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobsucker. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. <laughs> Nailed it. Um... <laughs> Nikki, hello. So at some point I woke up when there was talks about a pie, I think. <laughs> uh, anyway, the time was 3.14. We have talked a lot about pie. There, this has been quite a pie stream. <laughs> How's it going? Um, not the same shape. Cool. I didn't think I recognized the name. No, I was tricking you. Noob is a pirate, after all, that is true. Oh my god, I didn't make that connection either. I'm an honorary pirate. 
Arr! Rat! Who is this? Noodle? Who's Noodle? We've met a Noodle. I'm the detective. I'm calling about the incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. Are you sure? I've just realised there's no unsuspicious way to act, right? Because if someone's like, I didn't do it. Suspicious. But if someone's like... What else can you say? <laughs> I did it. Suspicious. Like, what's the alternative? Noodle is the other sheep. Okay, yep, that makes sense. It has been a while this time to wake up at various points of the stream. Oh, so I've done that before as well, where like you fall asleep during a stream and you wake up at various just random things happening. My, my favorite one was at Miro's stream. <laughs> um, and she has the sound alert that is the song Our House in the Middle of Our Street but it's like Our House in the Middle of Our House Our House in the Middle of Our House over and over and over again for about five minutes and I was asleep at this time and I was just hearing it in my sleep and like it goes on for so long that it was enough time that it woke me up I thought it was an alarm or something and I was so confused for the entire time and then I was like oh <laughs> This is what's happening. <laughs> and it's just, that is my favorite thing. Whenever that goes off in Miro's stream, it like makes me cry. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Noob getting brain music loops. It was so strange. Like, it just, everything gets surreal when you're half asleep. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, ball of wool, like rolled up noodles. It was noodle. Yes. That is right. Um, this game is a great candidate for random stuff happening, that's true. It makes you say some weird sentences, uh, which is always fun. Sometimes when I hear music when I'm asleep, it somehow distorts space and time in my dreams, like, loop with the lines? Oh my god, is that like when people, like, taste colours and stuff? <laughs> or maybe not that extreme. Okay. What did I do? <laughs> Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh. I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. Is Lola the Invisi Wizard? It must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Well, I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Was it our house? In the middle of our house. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh yeah, that's a perfect summary quote there. Yes. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the- oh, the whizbeard.net headquarters. <gasps> Maybe it was a spell. It was for... No, that would be Mandy. Hmm. <gasps> did... Did the invisible wizard outbid Mandy on the boots? So Mandy destroyed the parade because she was pissed? And this delivery was the boots? Oh, we've got some whizbeard drama going on here. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Are we going to get to arrest someone? I know there's no jail, but I still really want to arrest someone. <laughs> uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there, but this wasn't for her. Lola the whizbeard bidder. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two. A pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. That... How... First of all, did you even deliver this parcel then? Second of all, Lola. We've, we've discovered Lola's name. Um... 
Okay. Maybe two shoes. Usually I deliver one shoe at a time. <laughs> yeah. Huh, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Oh, how way? Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. No, come on, frog. We got this. We've got this. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature and a delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I even noticed. At the entrance of the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Okay. Right, well, we'll go and check. Maybe it's an ID. Oh, Barney. Uh, only two shoes I know are goody ones. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, if there's anything that my wake sleep stream watching has taught me, Froggy is definitely stumped on this case. <laughs> We're always stumped, it seems. So, motive. Accidentally crashed his van into the decorations. Drove away without realizing? <laughs> Question mark? That's not a motive, but... Okay, I understand the sentiment. No, it's a cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. Mm. I should search near Warlock Woods entrance for the thing that dropped. Well... This is the- oh! Entrance. Glasses. Does Lola need glasses? Is that why she's just hidden in a house? Oh, oh, did she just knock everything over on the way back to the house because she lost the glasses and she couldn't see? Oh no, she destroyed her own parade by accident. <laughs> Is her real name Velma? I, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> this must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Got some glasses. Okay. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should return these to the wizard. She should be at the old house near Carlos's shop. Well... Glasses, okay. Let's... Oh, I've, I've solved it, mate. I've solved it. We've got this. I know exactly what happened. Here's where the delivery... Um... Thingy that... Um... Oh my god, I've forgotten everyone's names. Susan saw the delivery van here. Uh... Invis nobody saw her take the delivery, though, because she's invisible. So she grabbed the delivery, lost the glasses, and instead of thinking, Oh, my glasses have gone... She's now like, can't see shit. So she's like, whoa, whoa, this sign's down. <laughs> whoa, shit all over the stage. Whoa, get this sign down too. Whoa, this isn't the way home. Where is it? Ooh, sign ripping pies everywhere. Oh, here's my house. I'm home. Never leave though, because I can't see shit. Yeah. So that, that's what I think happened. That was my recreation. <laughs> Let's see how right I, I am. Oh, God. Can we wear the glasses and get motion sick from super strong visual effect? I don't think we can wear the glasses. Oh, oh but we could have... Maybe... Put the magnifying glass over our eyes... And made them look like really big glasses. But never mind. No, we can't wear the glasses. Uh, I guess we don't need them. We could double magnify. Wait, you have two magnifying glasses on your channel? New, new all along? <laughs> new what? Oh, the glasses! Yeah, I solved it! Subconsciously from the very beginning. Wild. <laughs> Whoa, that's mental. Okay. Hello, is anybody home? I found these glasses. Yeah, I think 
I hope you all enjoyed that recreation of exactly what happened. Whoa. See? There's Doritos all over the floor. And pies! She accidentally dragged all of this stuff in with her. What are you doing here? <laughs> I remember you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just explore. This is a lot of boxes. <laughs> Crap! Hi! You love zooming with the magnifying glass. It's completely useless. It's so useless. It's so funny. It, do <laughs> it doesn't even make it bigger. <laughs> yeah, pies. Pies. <gasps> okay, no. I was like, you stole this from the shop. Oh, it's a broom because she's a witch. Hmm? This house is huge from the inside. Where does this door lead? Right, you really made a mess, eh? Um... Useless features that make great roleplay opportunities to act more in character is so good, though. That's true. Yeah, like, it's there for, like, being daft roleplay-wise. And, like... It's funny for the joke that we couldn't possibly do it without our magnifying glass. <laughs> that literally does nothing. Alright, here we go. We're confronting. <gasps> Not again! <laughs> no, this isn't the first time this has happened to me in my life. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, am I being trolled right now? By a witch? <gasps> I found another bug. Is this... Oh, this is the, the thing I saw through the window. Whew. Okay. Was it a decoy? Are you a decoy? Are you a balloon? I don't think it's a bug. This is a feature. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'm gonna get the real you. Oh my god. Oh! It, was this a... <gasps> Only the people that can solve a puzzle can get into the secret pie basement? This entire town is just an absolute finger food party. I want to go here. More crabs? Why do you have so many crabs, lady? Okay, we... This is art! Of me! This is impressionistic art! Somebody drew this! It's not a photograph. Oh, it looks really bulbous when you look at it through the magnifying glass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's always doors, that's true. So much floor pie. I just want to bite into them. Okay. Invisible wizard. Ah! Who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. Would you like to borrow my magnifying glass? And I'll just keep the glasses because I still think they'd look cute on me. I mean, we could put them on our head. And they probably wouldn't reach either of our eyes, but it would still be cute. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, going into mysterious basements is always a good choice in games. That's true. In real life. Questionable. Video games. Do it. <laughs> Every time. Uh, going to a friend in a few, making pumpkin land 
Oh god, what? Pumpkin lasagna? Pumpkin lasagna. I don't... Hmm. Pumpkin lasagna. I don't think I know what pumpkin tastes like. Now that I think about it. <laughs> New brain short circuit. Did you hear it? Did you hear like the bzzz of like my brain just sort of... <laughs> looping for a second there. Like heaven? I don't actually think I've ever had pumpkin. How bizarre. Pumpkin is delicious? Huh. I've carved pumpkins. So I've never eaten it. I don't even know which part you eat. I know you can eat the seeds. I think. Or animal. Something can eat the seeds. Um. It's... Is it not completely different from a roast carrot, I guess? Oh. It's like a sweeter and more filling taste, but sort of like carrots. I don't think I would like it then, because I don't like carrots. And I don't like sweet vegetables. Although, is pumpkin a fruit? But like, sweet. I don't like sweet in my... You know, that kind of food. <laughs> so I don't think I would like it, but I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Um, right. So, Invisit Wizard. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again! That was so quick! Have you thought about contact lenses? It would just help with the stealth, you know? That was so quick! You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> so she is completely oblivious to what she's done. The destruction in her work. Um... Closer to sweet potatoes. I also don't like sweet potatoes. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's in the category of flavours that I don't like, I think. Uh, some pumpkins are harder and some are softer. Occasionally have some tiny pumpkins that don't need peeling. They go quite soft like a sweet potato. Oh. Um... Uh, well, tiny for a pumpkin. <laughs> right, yeah, that's true. I was thinking like... Uh, small, like, <laughs> real small. Um, okay. So, yeah, three centimeter pumpkin. <laughs> like a little, a little grape. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Wizbay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola? Yes. Back to my alibi. <laughs> I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> hmm. You've never carved a pumpkin, just snapped? Oh my god, that's so funny. I could have just given you all of the pumpkin. <laughs> I carve it, you eat it. <laughs> um, okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Uh, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. Are you making this up? No. Evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. 
Your enemy? Yes. Where can I contact Evil Guy? <laughs> Do you have a phone number for Evil Guy? I will give them a call. I will threaten them. I am the law after all. Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Is... <laughs> Case solved! We did it! Well done! Wow! Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes? <laughs> I'm really sorry! It was me! It was an accident, I swear! You destroyed the parade, didn't you? Ah! <laughs> I'm really embodying this distress. I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice! And I ruined it! When I threw my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and already I made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady, detective. I make myself invisible so no one can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. It's a spell? Ta da! Wait, you're a frog? This is... No. I don't think this is a frog. You're a frog? Like me? This is a frog? Yes. Is that why you have a picture of a frog? But your eyes! I know! She can wear a hat! The hat is not of you after all. God damn it. Um... I like your colour. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so. Imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay. So you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow. So you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a good joke. <laughs> I thought so. Detective! Are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. <laughs> Harry, you're a lizard! <laughs> Good joke, detective! <laughs> uh, I think the setup, the setup is what really made it pay off. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But well, that's a fib! A white lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? It could harm everyone, because they might all start living in fear of evil guy. <laughs> Poor evil guy. <laughs> evil guy? Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favourite episode of... Is it... <laughs> Wait... That's not gonna be a parrot pot rot, is it? <laughs> is this Poirot, but a parrot? <laughs> that's great. 
I need a parrot, Poirot. I'm going to pretend it is. It must be. If you thought the same thing as me, I think we're right. Let's manifest it. It's... it's... Parrot, I guess. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Do I have to choose? Don't make me choose. Can I try on your hat? The trouble with this hat is, right? This would cover both of my eyes. <laughs> it's not a one-size-fits-all, unfortunately. Okay, let's have a look then. Lola. Motive? Lost her glasses. Totally did the crime. No real motive, but still the culprit. Needs glasses. Done. Notes. Shy lady. A frog. Just moved in. Excuse me? I wasn't finished reading, game. It just... Took me away from my book. Rude. Rude, rude game. No time for manners when you're a detective. <laughs> Lola has a deeper head, more hat suitable. Yeah, her eyes are on the front of her face, not on the top. She's a very different kind of frog. But I do see the frogness when I think about it. Okay. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I am a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been such a commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. <laughs> Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. There is lots of frog types, that's true. Given the tree frog picture, I guess you're more of a pond frog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, true. Um... Okay. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? Oh, hey! Victor's got out of the swimming pool. Oh, and Barney's here. <laughs> I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think how that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. I like that we're having the traditional... Um... Pointing fingers get together at the end of a mystery. That's always the best. <laughs> um... Okay. Yes, delivery sheep is here. Barney. Uh, Victor does also wear glasses. Maybe he also dropped his glasses. Maybe it's deeper than we thought. Go ahead, detective. Oh no! It's a choice! Solidarity? Oh! <laughs> Barney! Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I see it. I see it. <laughs> Lola did it. You snitch. You snitch. We, we, uh, we do usually choose to be a snitch. Are you going to lie, detective? <gasps> do we grass her up? Oh, this is a tough choice. The thing, the reason that it's tough is because I don't have a save. <laughs> so if I want to do the other one, I need to play the entire game again. Our professionalism, our oath. <gasps> Are we being the law? I mean, I also just don't like the idea of scaring everyone with the evil guy. Because what's to, to them? To me, right? If my town gets destroyed and then I get told that evil guy did it, I'm gonna live in fear, you know? But if I find out it's just an accident, 
Well, I think they'll find it funny. We're just... we're doing it. I think they'll get over it. And it's even a good icebreaker. You know? Now, in the future, whenever they're talking, they'll be like, Oh, remember that time when Lola destroyed everything? That was funny. You know? Uh... so... <laughs> Lola did it. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. I... I'm... I'm doing it. This justification, it's a good icebreaker. <laughs> okay, well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? I'm snitching. I'm such a snitch. It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Wizbay. Oh no, don't tell him about the shoes on Wizbay. Uh, oh my gosh! Those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Or maybe they can bond over it. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. My recreation, right? I don't mean to brag. <laughs> but I perfectly showed what happened that night. Hope you all can see it in your brains right now because I showed it that well. <laughs> um, okay. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry. I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I had lots of <laughs> chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. At least she had snacks for when she was holed up in a house. The parade was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reaction, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola! It's okay! You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys, destroys stuff all the time. With her voice. Yeah, I really do. Plus, Noddy tried to vacuum you up. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> We're all really excited you're here, Lola. Yeah, the truth was absolutely the right thing to do. We don't need decorations anyway. I've forgotten how her voice goes. <laughs> I really thought Ralph did it. <laughs> Victor. Victor! Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Barney, not as bad as my not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. <laughs> Victor, go back to your tub. <laughs> Just leave, Victor. You don't even live here. Okay. Barney ran Mary over. That's quite an entrance. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you they'd all be laughing about everything. That was really painful. <laughs> Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. See, we're still having a party. It doesn't matter about the decorations. The band's coming. Yeah, there they are. Oh, look! The haunted train! Choo choo motherfuckers! Let's look at these dance moves! <gasps> the snoot hat! Did you see the snoot hat? Look at Noddy's face! <gasps> Victor's got an ear hat on! That's what I want to do! Where are we at? Where's me? Do I get, did I get a hat? Where is me? Oh no, did I say that right after we saw us? <laughs> the 
snoot. I was too distracted by the snoot. Yes, we have it on an eye. Hell yeah. Nutty the dog is credited. Yeah, boy. <laughs> These games are so dumb and good. I enjoy the dumb. Usually when I say dumb, it's a form of enjoyment. <laughs> Endearing, maybe, is why I should call them. It's so good, okay. I like how we make friends with all the people on our cases. So yeah, okay, so we need a smaller hat. A little bit later. Expert investigator um, achievement we got. We got a photograph? Oh yes, it's the party train! Okay, so... <laughs> I guess the theory of using two hats wouldn't work because they're too big, we just wouldn't be able to see. But if, if they were a bit smaller, they would fit on there. Um, so let's see, there's Barney. Victor's a bit covered up, but that's okay. There's Susan and Ralph. Carlos. There's Noddy with the face. And uh, Mandy's hat looks so fashionable. It looks really good on top of her other hat. I really like that um, that fashion there. And then the others are just wearing them as regular hats. Oh wait, the band is so small. They're not even human crabs. They're tiny. Wait, but. There's the picture! It's <laughs> the picture that we bought! Yes! Oh, good. I'm so glad. Okay. Don't they look so much bigger in this picture? Is the banjo shrimp in there? Huh. Maybe we were having a small day that day. Okay. This is cool. That's our second one. So... No. Notebook, but we can't use it. We're just getting a phone call from our boss, you would think? Oh, maybe we were smaller. Yeah, we could have grown since then. Although, we still have the same clothes, but we could have bought the same outfit bigger again. <laughs> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Did we... Did we say that last time? Because that's great. Detective! Supervisor! It's me, the supervisor! I'm aware. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was stumped. <laughs> I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. To be fair, I did call that quite early. It's just I thought maybe she did it because she didn't want to see the neighbours. <laughs> it's never as... Um... Oh, it's never as jaded as, as I imagine it to be. <laughs> that, I, I had that. The game has never done that. <laughs> um... Okay. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody is ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. Yeah, I miss that sometimes. <laughs> Bring me the maliciousness. <laughs> uh, no, I, I understand it for this game. I have other games that I can enjoy malice. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we believe because we've only ever had these types of cases? Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose the crime is real after all. <laughs> Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, my job title, despite my job title, I never really seemed to be solving crimes. 
That's going to change in a moment, I think, detective. Oh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, detective. That sounds exciting. It is. But it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. Is this what he said last time? <laughs> I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? Lobster Cop? <gasps> I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Frog Detective 3? Buddy Cop? Really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new member one. Oh, number one. The new member one. The new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be a-okay. So, where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? Fuck yeah! I can handle anything. Is it just over? After the detective has left. A train next time? Nice, yes. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, I don't like this. There's a ghost in my closet? Oh wait, maybe his, his lobster cop gonna come in and put some cleaning supplies in my room? <laughs> That's the creeper. We forgot our notebook later in the station. Is he just bringing us our notebook? Maybe he's not even stealing it. Maybe he's just like, I'll just leave this here for you to find. Guardian angel, not stalker. Oh, the, is that a garden eel? Oh wait, do I? No, I don't. Trend worm! <laughs> I love the trend worm. It's those little ones at the um, aquarium that pop out. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm in the desert. Detective will return in Cowboy County. Oh, corruption at Cowboy County. That's alliteration. Awesome. Oh, I am so down for the Wild West. Fuck yeah. Now that's it, right? I wonder if we're just going to find our notebook lying around somewhere. What's the deal with the mole? Hey, we don't it though. Hold on, I need to check. Before we leave, let's go into case three and just see what the scene looks like. Corruption, but crime isn't real. <laughs> That's true, that is a contradiction. Goodness. So... Hurry! Oh no! There's Lobster Cop! Frog Detective 3! Corruption in Cowboy County. So we are... We are... Oh, I have no idea if we are gonna solve things well together. If we're gonna work well together. If we're gonna have drama between us. If he's gonna claim credit and when we solve it. If we're gonna claim credit when he solves it. I have no idea what this dynamic is going to be. But he's given us some good advice so far. Be suspicious about everyone. Use a notebook. 
have no manners. <laughs> All good advice. But yeah, all right then. Okay, that was Frog Detective 2, The Invisible Wizard. We solved it. Um, I'm just going to pop back onto smooth jazz. <laughs> the tumbleweed. It's like a squiggle. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that. I did very much so. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having to cancel Sunday's stream because I will be out at a jujitsu competition and usually for comps, right? Because I'm mostly... Well, I'm going because our gym is going. Uh, and mostly uh, one of our ladies is doing her first comp there. So obviously I'm going for that. And usually they put the ladies on early and first. Um, and like get them out of the way. But not on Sunday. Not at this competition. So um, I thought I would definitely be back in time for stream. But actually her second match or second... Uh, bracket is like at stream time so there's absolutely no there's no way that i'll be back and there's no work around really um because uh, i couldn't stream before i go it's just it's gonna be an all day thing so i do apologize about that uh, but we can be back on monday to play some more uh, we will we'll finish frog detective on monday i'm sure um no crime solving, only crime fighting with hugs. Yeah, boy, that should be the name of uh, the tagline of my in uh, agency. Cri fighting crime with hugs, with deadly hugs, with an as yeah asterisk deadly hugs. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, excellent crime solving. Why? Thank you, thank you. I love solving things that don't exist, like crimes. It's just a myth, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hugs may be deadly. Yes, the disclaimer. I like it. Okie dokie, guys. So yes, no stream on Sunday, but we'll be back on Monday to finish this. This has actually ended up being the perfect um, series to play this week because it has lent itself to a little bit shorter streams um, so that I can continue with like playing demos and stuff. So yeah, this has just been ideal. Uh... So yes, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let's let's wrap it up. From Detective Three, Electric Toadaloo. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. So, thank you to Sassy for the twenty-three months. Uh, you have till Monday to play it then. Oh, nice. Yes. I'm assuming it'll be about the same length, but apparently these are all an hour long. But this one took me three hours plus three plus hours uh well yeah Ori, or Ori. i was gonna say okie dokie and all right at the same time and i just went full jordy with Ori. um all righty i will see you guys on monday then with more streams in the meantime if you need any more content i am doing some writing for this uh well not for the just about this theme next first on my blog uh, so do take a look there if you are looking to see what kind of demos are worth checking out because I'm writing out my favourite ones on there and I've also been experimenting with some shorts which are going up on YouTube and then I'm putting them on TikTok and Instagram as well mostly as like an experiment because I don't really know how these things work uh, but you know, I don't know, I'm doing it because I'm enjoying editing and stuff uh, and maybe it'll help me learn how things work so, yeah, check out those stuff because uh, there's still plenty of time to play some demos. And once again, if you've played anything good, let me know and I can add it to my list. Uh, even though my list is already probably too big. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching and hanging out and lurking and chatting and members and sassy. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, there was some game you get me to find out if there was a demo to find out if you're interested in it. Maybe I will work that out sometime. <laughs> yeah, please let me know if you realise what it is. Could be anything. <laughs> I would I would be interested in knowing though if um if you do realise. Uh not realise, figure it out. Ori Dori <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh good night. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. Don't let bed bugs bite. Good night. <laughs>